He said, go again. Fourth time he came and saw nothing. Many people by that time, you start thinking, this is the wrong church altogether. <laughs> if you do not blame the pastor, you start blaming God. You say, I don't understand. God bless so many people. Every time I hear testimonies that this person came today and got the miracle today, I've been here for long and I'm not receiving it. You start wondering, God commissioned me for you to tell you, son of God, daughter of God, hold on strong. You are closer now than you have ever been. After four times trying, it remains only three more times. He came back and said, there is nothing. Somebody came to me and said, the pastor, they have found me with her. HIV, I prayed. I said, go. Go and check. Went, there is nothing. Uh, went, they say, you're still positive. Comes back, broken. I said, it's not working. I said, who told you it's not working? <laughs> who told you it's not working? Sometimes what God does in your system is so great that it will take the lab sometimes to catch up with what heaven had already set for you. Give them the time they want. But the result is one. By stripes, you are healed. Patience. Learn to be patient. Oh, I've been going through it again and again. Be patient. Be patient. He say, you will marry. Be patient. Don't panic because somebody tells you that... He propose. You do not even know if it will amount to anything or not. No. If he propose, fine. I rejoice for you. But I also know that mine is coming. My Mr. Mine is coming. He will not box me. He will love me. He will honor me. He will respect me. He will make me feel like a lady again. Wait, wait. I'm speaking to somebody who has been here. You're trusting God for your health. Wait. Don't panic. Just wait. You are this close. You are this close. I'm speaking prophetically. You are this close. Don't give in. Wait. Those who wait on the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like he go. Wait on the Lord. No matter what they say, wait. The man of God prayed again. And he said to his servant, go again. He went for the fifth time and came back. There was nothing. He said, go again. He was determined to see result. No matter how many times they would have said to him, there is nothing. He would have said, go again. God is not a man. He cannot lie. What he said to you cannot be revoked. It is final. Are you hearing me? It is final. You will not die. I say, you will not die. You will live and declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. He cannot lie. He said, you will not be fired. You will not be fired. It doesn't matter how many people conspire against you. He said, you will not be fired. You will not be fired. Build yourself on the word of God. No matter how long it takes, wait on the Lord. On the sixth time, he said, go. He went again. And return. I said, my spiritual father. Maybe we need to revise and ask God to show us how to do it. Because there is still nothing. But he said, I will wait. Patience is a virtue. It's a virtue. Patience is produced in you by the Spirit of God. Why would the Spirit of God produce in believers patience? It's because God is sovereign. Not everything that God does that will manifest in our lives in the tic-tac. There are things that God does that, bam, it manifests. But others, he wants you to wait. Patience means long-suffering. The same word, patience, that we use 
is the same word used for sick people in a hospital. Say, there is a patient there. It comes with pain, pain of waiting, pain of, i got to wait for another day. But I want you to be patient. Don't panic. Just trust him. Learn to trust God even when you cannot trace him. Keep your eyes on him. You have called on God. Wait on him. If you will lose the ability to wait on God, you will abort your miracles. It is already in you. All you got to do is wait for it. I love the song, I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on the Lord. You must develop that ability that you do not mind waiting. There are people whose heart is That's why you got married to the wrong guy. You could not wait. <laughs> Learn to wait. If you lose the ability to wait, you will end up in jail one day. You will feel like stealing because I got to get it. I must be there. I must, I must, I must. Before you know it, you are the greatest crook in town. Why? Because you want to make money. God said, I will bless you. I will bless you. God said, I will bless you. You got to wait for it. No. No, no. Uh, I also must drive a car. I also must drive a car. I also must drive a car. You will steal. If you cannot wait, you will compromise. It is okay for somebody to drive today. You will drive tomorrow. Just wait for your time. Wait for your time. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on you, Lord. In the wedding, you oh my god, oh my god. Ah, she's married, she's she's married. It's only me. Your prayer life changed. Oh Lord, why me? You panicking. No, any brother that says hi, you want to hear more, huh? You, what do you say? <laughs> huh? No, I just say hi. Yeah, but 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 carry on, carry on. All that because you do not want to wait. If you do not wait, you will compromise. Wait for your time. God tells you that, that you will also one day drive your own car. If you're not driving it, enjoy your time now. Knowing that my car is coming. On the sixth time he came and said, I see nothing. This man of God did not panic. By that time, everybody will have enough documented evidence that this thing is not working. But he say, I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. On you, Lord. I'm waiting for my miracle. For my breakthrough. I don't mind way. I don't mind way. On the Lord. Those who wait on the Lord. God has created a space for men to wait. Wait on the Lord. Ah, listen to me. No you can wait on the Lord and come out empty handed. If you keep on waiting on the Lord, He will do for you what He said He will do because He's not a man. He will not lie. I am 
saying this. Somebody has been waiting for something for a long time. This message is to activate you and tell you you are this close. I say if you take one more step and another step, before you know it, you will get there. If you're facing the right direction, all that remains is keep on walking. Keep on walking. Keep on walking. Keep on doing it. Keep on doing it. You will eventually get there. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Don't lose heart. Don't lose heart. Jehovah is in control. Put your hands together, somebody. Don't lose heart. Jehovah is in control. I'm stretching my hands towards you because I'm sensing that God has remembered you and is activating what you've been waiting for. God has seen that you waited patiently and now it's time he will reward you. Please have a seat. You know there are people after the sixth time they get discouraged. They say it's not working. They start looking for other ventures. On the sixth time, one more step remaining. They say, I oh, know, it's too heavy. I've done it. I, I can't do it again. See, Thomas Edison had to try it 50 times. 50 times. One, two, three, four, five, 50 times before he got a breakthrough that you and I enjoy even today. 50 times. Come patiently. Wait on the Lord. You will make it perfect. Are you hearing me? You will make it perfect. God is a good God. He loves us all. There is always a seventh time. Seven. It speaks of Completion. Amen. Perfection. He said, go again. On the seventh time, as he went to see, the Bible reports that uh, he saw something very tiny, neglectable. A small cloud in the form of a man's hand. It was Jehovah's hand stretched on Israel. As I stretched my hand, may Jehovah stretch his over your life. A small hand, tiny. So he came to the man of God and said, hey, 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 man of God, there is still no rain, but I see a small cloud in the form of a man's hand. The man of God knew it is over. Because though he was praying for rain, he was waiting for a sign. Ouch! He was praying for rain, but waiting for a sign. Hmm. I pray for somebody who was HIV positive. The person who went to check, the doctor say, wow, you're HIV negative. He came home rejoicing and a voice started speaking to his spirit. What if the machine was faulty? <laughs> what if it was not really so? And he started battling with this. What if, what if, what if? That what if belongs to the devil. Amen. What if the machine was faulty? Ask it, what if it was not? So the following day, he said, no, no, no. He was so restless. He decided to go again for the test. But this time, he was in fear. He was doubting everything. He came with no boldness. The first time I prayed for him, he went there, hallelujah, knowing that I have it. What is mine is mine. But this time, broken. They took blood. What to expect? The battle is not the battle of the flesh. It's the battle of faith. Amen. The result came. Positive. And the doctor said, you're positive. You are very, very positive. <laughs> that was not good news. And he was going, I was thinking, he 
told the doctor that, no, I was uh, diagnosed HIV negative. I even have a proof. The doctor, I'll give you another proof that this one says, <laughs> you are very positive. Now this man comes crying. I said, don't cry. The battle is the battle of faith. Amen. You broke your faith. The Bible says if you do not receive it by faith, you will not receive it at all. I ask him a question. Why do you have to go for the second time with fear? There is no problem for you to go and test or he takes seven times. No problem. Twenty times. But in faith, not in fear. Not sent by the devil. Do you understand? Amen. Don't get your, your, your signal from Satan. See, no, I was afraid because I said, I said, with fear you cannot get. You cannot get because you are in fear. Then my question was for him. How long did it take for you to believe that you are HIV positive? One test. One. As I found it, <laughs> I want to kill myself. We are easy to believe wrong than to believe right. We prayed for him again. I said, this time when you go there, you must go with faith. <laughs> HIV cannot kill somebody under the sound of my voice unless he accepts it. <laughs> Impossible. God told me, whoever you lay hands on, I will be the one taking over your hands and laying hands on. Anybody I ever laid hands on has received a deposit that cannot be revoked from your life. Anybody. It doesn't matter if you're tall or short. Believing or unbelieving. I laid hands on you. You're good. But now you build yourself on that. You keep on building yourself on that. You don't let go of it. You cleave to it. I believe it. I believe it. I build myself on it. That's one of the third service. I pray for everybody that is here. I stop praying only when there is nobody else that are needs me to lay hands. I lay hands of everybody. I go home tired. Are you hearing me? Amen. On the seventh time, the man of God came, the servant, and said, that, I see the cloud. Elijah said, tell the king to hurry because there is abundance of rain. I'm praying for abundance of rain Amen. over your life. In your dry land, abundance of rain. How many of you believe in miracle? Now, let me explain to you something. A miracle is something that uh, you cannot really understand. It does not follow the normal protocols. Meaning that uh, you came to church broke, you do not even have offering. But as you're leaving church, you will bump into such financial blessing that you'll become a kingdom financier. That is what we call a miracle. Miracle is not that you went to cook pap and it's cooked. <laughs> if you're cooking pap, it will be cooked. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Miracle means that as you came to Hallelujah Ministries today, I do not know you, I may not know your problem, but as you came today, I switched my hand, I will release something over your life that will change the course of your existence. That is miracle. You gotta have faith to it. Some of you today will receive healing miracles, deliverance miracles, financial miracles. They blocked you in one place. They say, you will never prosper. But when you receive a miracle, a financial miracle, or a blessing from God, it opens all the doors. Are you hearing me? How many of you want to receive a miracle from God? Now, it goes with your faith. What is it that you have inside? How many of you want a miracle? Do 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 you dare want a miracle? The, the, miracles are for us. Those who begin to open. 
What's your name? Come, stand, stand here, stand, stand here, stand here. Let me pray for you. God is telling me that you are not an orphan because he's your father, he's your mother. Amen. Lift your hand. Yeah. Moko Toshia. Is she new in the choir? Are you new in the choir? God is telling me to tell you, he should be considered your father and your mother. I see you lost your parents. You lost your parents. Yes, I lost them, Pastor. You lost them. Yes, Pastor. Both of them. Your father and your mother. Yes, Pastor. And they all died in the same year. Yes, Pastor. You lost in one year both your father and your mother. Yes, Pastor. But you see, Zehaman de Oh, God. My daughter, the Lord will take over. The Lord will take over. Stretch your hands, somebody, to order. Stretch your hands. Stretch your hands. The Lord will take over. Your studies will be paid. Financially, you'll be well. I bless you. May the glory of God be your portion. In the name of Jesus. God, I will shoot you. Zete, kebe, beshi. Lift your hand and stretch and say, Lord, I receive what is mine. My daughter, just stand up. Look at me. Now what I'm, you're doing this, God is speaking to me. He's telling me, Koseya Mandia. Koboshata. We're breaking the yoke of the enemy over your life today. We're releasing you. What has been happening in your life is a spirit of stagnation. Nothing you do is materializing. Is that true? True, Pastor. You can't progress. No, no. First marriage fell. Second marriage fell. Divorced twice. Jesus. Oh, yes, Pastor. It's true. Now, even your finances. Are you working? No, Pastor. But yet you have a degree. Yes, I do, Pastor. Oh, Jesus. You are qualified, but you do not have employment. No, Pastor. Jesus, no. The Lord is visiting you. 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 The Lord I serve is visiting you. God is visiting you. You see, a husband of the night, you dream you're sleeping with somebody constantly. That is the biggest problem you have. That is the biggest problem. Every time you are in the relationship, that spirit, that a husband of the night is what is fighting for the first, for the second. Jesus. I'm seeing a white face that comes to you at night, like yes. a white man. Is Amen. that true? Amen, Pastor. It's true. I'm breaking it. Jesus. Let the devil know Hallelujah. that there is a prophet. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm breaking it. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. I say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come here. Come here. Let me pray for you. I'm seeing objects moving. You lost your parents. They both, yes, Pastor. Both of them. Yes, but you're fighting with them in your dreams. Yes, Pastor. They're coming in your dreams sometimes. Yes, and you're fighting with them. Yes, Pastor. Who fights with his parents? <laughs> Lift your hand. God, I'm a washer. After I pray for you, let me tell you what will happen. After I pray for you. I pray for people here. Everyone I pray for has a testimony. Doesn't matter if I pick you, the Lord picked you. That's why you have one testimony after another. My daughter, your life will never be the same again because Je Jehovah is your father. Jehovah is your mother. You lost both your parents in the same year. Whoa. But God said to me, he's your father. You are not an orphan. You are not an orphan. Yeah. 
even as I'm here, I'm seeing so many things right now. But it is well. It is well. It is well. For you, the Lord has remembered you. We break the yoke of the enemy. We break it, we break it, we break it. You were born in December, right? As I pray, I'm activating a miracle. Before December, you, you'll testify here. It's good when you're born in December, so you give yourself time. Lord, I release her. Lord, I break the yoke of the enemy. Everything set and brought. Pray with her. Switch your hand. We break it. I destroy 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 it. Come out! Pray for her, pray for her. Complete freedom. Complete freedom. Complete freedom. Balakate in Nebashia. Masete. I see that freedom. May the Lord change your story. May the Lord change your story. In Jesus' name. He's restoring the years you saw. In tears, you get a job. Amen. Yeah, a good job. God bless you. God bless you. Seven times they went, came back. Seven times, 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 seven times. Stand up. You know, as I pray for you now, every ancestral spirit is leaving you. Every ancestral spirit is leaving. Out! Zato koroboshia. Zato kosheke nabakoto. Sokoto yakata. Everybody stretch your hands toward. Zato kokoshia. See, this is a young girl, but look what the devil is doing. It's a young girl. Set to prosper. <laughs> look at me. Send her. Pray for her, please. Let her go home free, please. Jesus wants to set her free. Prosperity is yours, you know that? You are called to, to be blessed. But there is an ancestral covenant between you and the dead. That's why when you dream, you dream things like that. You have dream. You see things in dream and they happen. Yes, pastor. As you see it, that's how it happens. Yes, pastor. In your dream, you're fighting with snakes and all kinds of things. Yes, pastor. Where did you get this ancestral covenant? Do you know about that? My, my mother told me I was not supposed to be born because she was like 11 months pregnant when she had me. So they said they had to do something because like, I had to be part of them somehow. You had to be... Your mother said that uh, you were not meant to be born. Like be she was born. 11 months pregnant, but either me was supposed to die or her. So they had to do some rituals. Yes, Pastor. And in that ritual, they dedicated you. Yes, Pastor. So that's how God is telling me that there is an ancestral covenant. But listen to me. 
the Lord sent you on the earth, the devil wanted to take you. Now, right now, you're trying. You can't stay. You're, beginning, you're young. You start a relationship. It doesn't materialize. There is a spirit of rejection. It just goes off just like that, just like that. Because of all this. Do you understand? Is that true? Is that true? But I thank God you came to church today. Zemanda Zokota Shete Katoto Shia Rababa Florence. Yes, Pastor. Florence. Who's Florence? That's my mother. Pastor. That's your mother. Yes. Mm. See, Florence carried you. Florence, nine months. Koto Yamate, Mate Kashoko Bonda. Zeya Basente. Sei Karabado. Mm. Shut up, Karababo. So to stretch your hand. Let break this. Let break it. Let break it. Let release it. Let release it. Let release it. Zato Koboshia. We break it. We break it. Break it. Break it. Out. Free. Pray for her. Pray for her. Zoto Roboshia. Motarababa Sente. Sweet, sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, what a wonder you are, you are brighter than the morning star. Sweet Jesus is doing something for you. you Lift your hand and wave to him. Mm. Much fairer. Than the lily that grows by the wayside, you are precious, most precious, and 